Mercer County Technical Education Center. I'm going to be reading this book to you. Due to the pandemic, we're going to have to film ourselves. Right now, we would be in our placements with you all. Um, but due to the pandemic, we can't do that. So. so make sure you all are washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, using soap, and keeping six feet away, social distancing. Um, so I'm going to read this book called Little Pink Pup to you all. It's by Joanna Kirby. Kirby. One cold night, 12 piglets were born in a barn. The smallest one's name was Pink. Can you all see which one's the smallest? Pink's brother and sister piglets were strong and healthy. He was tiny and weak. They were playful and pushed Pink aside when it was time to eat. Pink was cold and hungry. His owners brought him into their house to see if they could help Pink. Tink was a brand new dash hound mom. She had one puppy of her own and was a foster mom to a few others. Do you, any of y'all know what a foster mom is? If you don't know what a foster mom is, the answer to that question would be, a foster mom is someone who takes care of someone else's child who isn't blood related to them. So basically, they take them in as their own. When Tink saw Pink, she immediately welcomed him into the family. That's what a foster mom does. Um, she licked him and fed him and tucked him in close. She made him feel right at home. Tink knew that Pink was very different from her puppies, but didn't. But she didn't mind. Can you all see the difference in Pink from Tink's puppies? The difference is the puppies are brown and Pink is a pig. She's not a dog. Now Tink had lots of brown puppies and one little pink pup. Pink's new siblings welcomed him too. He may not have looked like them, but that didn't matter. He was just their different, just their size. The puppies didn't sleep on straw like the pigs in the barn. They slept on a soft blanket, blanket, and their warm bodies kept pink cozy. Little by little, Pink started to eat more. Nobody pushed him anyway. He began to grow stronger along with his puppy siblings. Soon, Pink was running around the house. They liked to wrestle and nip at each other. They chased each other and played tag. Pink loved to get his ears scratched, but he hated taking a bath. When it was bath time, he would squeal loudly and kick out his legs. Pink should be taking a bath so he shouldn't catch the coronavirus, right? Sometimes Pink would visit his pig family in the barn. His pig siblings had grown so big, they were about 20 pounds each, and Pink weighed only three pounds. That's very little. After his visit, Pink was always happy to go back to Tink and his dog family. Once Pink and the puppies 
got a little older, it was time to eat solid food. But when Pink was offered pig food, he refused to eat. He wanted puppy food like his brothers and sisters. So he really is getting along with the puppies. When Pink got too big to live in the house, he moved into the barn. But he made sure to take his dog bed with him. After sleeping on a soft cushion his whole life, he did not like the scratchy scrawl. And no matter how big Pink grows, he will always be Tink's little pink pup. I hope you all like this story. Um, once again, remember to keep washing your hands. Use hand sanitizer, use soap and water. Wash for at least 20 seconds. There are songs on YouTube if you all don't know how long is the proper time to wash your hands. So um, YouTube is a good resource for you all to use. Um, you all stay safe out there and keep social distancing six feet away. Remember that? Um, you all stay safe. Have a good day.